Holy crap. I just found a nugget of 192 grams. So I have nugget find on because I need all the money I can get. I've never, I, I've hardly had nuggets over 100 grams. What is going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to Gold Rush. Today, obviously, we're going to be digging for some more gold and we're going to be buying some more equipment that will help us do so. So just a sit rep on the situation, as you can see, I have moved my mobile wash plant over here. Been doing some pretty serious digging. We currently have over a thousand grams of gold, 1300 to be more specific, and I actually do need to do a washout right now. Uh, of some more gold. So what I think we're gonna do today is buy the drill You can actually drill into the ground and find where the gold veins are uh, So we can get better yields of gold. I actually asked on my stream when I did stream this What you guys want to see me buy next and the majority of you I thought it would be the the upgraded wash plant But actually you guys want to see the drill. So uh, we're actually gonna buy that's gonna cost us about 80 grand and hopefully we have enough dirt here to do so because uh, we currently have 43 grand in the bank. We should be good, I think. With 1,300 already in the bag, uh, we should definitely be good. Is that empty? I was I was doing this, and then I kind of got preoccupied. Actually, there's a little bit more in there. So, yeah, I thought we'd uh, start off with earning a little bit of gold here. I actually got, as you can see, two buckets worth. So, uh, yeah, we're getting some extra gold right now. Uh, seems to be with that spot, we get about, I want to say, like 200 grams per bucket so we should actually hopefully by the end of this at least have 1500 because this bucket's almost done uh if we can get that i think that should be more than enough to buy this drill so here is bucket one done what are we looking at already 1360 a little bit over 1360 so yeah we should have no problem at all uh because we have a full bucket over here this was just a partial bucket that i had of leftovers and uh yeah already we got like what 50 grams and this bucket I know was 100% yield, so it's going to have lots of gold in it. Let's see some of that gold. Hopefully, we'll get uh, the dirt out of here. Already seeing a few. Generally, at, at the second one, you start seeing a lot more, though. And yes, as you can see, uh, we got a lot in this thing. And hopefully, they're big pieces. They look decent, but it's hard to tell. Again, if we use the tweezers, they are going to be big. And yeah, these are definitely tweezer-worthy. Look at that. That was that was three grams right there. A three-gram nug? That is That is huge. All right, and here is the final pan. Gotta say, I was hoping for a bit of a better yield. It looks like we are going to get the 1500 that I expected, but I moved the wash plant to the middle of our mine site because it's deeper ground there. I thought the deeper we'd go, the better the goal would be. That's generally, as a rule of thumb, how this game kind of works. But uh, obviously, there's patches of gold everywhere, which is why I really want to get that drill. We got to find where the gold is because last episode, we were right on the edge of the mine and we're getting similar results in the middle of the mine now. So I'm not really finding the the deep part of the gold or where the gold truly is. Yeah, I'm really hoping we have enough money to do this. And look at that. My, son, my estimate was basically on track 1501. You can't get much more accurate than, oh, almost missed one. And there we go. And that was just a little guy there. So we're still at 1501. All right, well, that's still a lot of gold, probably our biggest sell yet, so I can't complain with that. Uh, let's go back to Haynes. I don't think we need anything else right now besides, obviously, the drill. Now, another thing I need to think about with this drill is I think there's a limit to one vehicle on this plot of land right now, and I need to buy something to get the next vehicle. So that's going to cost a lot of money, too. So hopefully we get a little bit more than 80 grand. Uh, there's a few things in here we can sell if we need to, but it's really not worth that much. All right, the gold man. Now, let's actually... The magnetite, I have it in a bucket, but I think I got to actually... It's going to take 3,500 magnetite. Buy small burner kit, so that, that makes time. Buy small shares. Let's see if we hit the upgrade here. Yeah, okay, we don't have enough magnetite. So I guess we got to actually bring the magnetite over. I know there's a magnetite, uh, like, trailer we can buy. I don't really remember what it does, but I'm assuming that's how we bring this over here to get our upgrades. It's weird this guy really wants magnetite. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's how we get upgrades here. Anyways, we're going to smelt our giant bar. Um, for some reason, it's only going to be 567 of the 15. Why does it do that? I'm so confused. Because I have enough money this time. It's, it's not a money issue. It's just like, that's that's the bar he wants to do. If you want to do a 567, that's okay. That just sucks because we got to sit here, wait for this one to go. Actually, can I just do the next one? No. 
I can't, so I literally have to wait for this bar. God damn it! I don't know why I'm complaining. I have so much gold, it has to come in multiple bars, so that's really not a bad thing, but I hate that I have to wait here. All right, so hopefully gold's worth a bit today. I'm gonna check the stocks. It's about average. It doesn't go up or down too much, so it's not a big loss. Uh, but obviously, if you are playing the game, you could actually probably buy and sell in this game. Actually, I don't know if you can buy gold. Anyways, let's sell our... Oh, yeah, we got more than enough. Per actually, ooh, it was going to be close. I got to remember, I need to buy the uh, the vehicle slot for my land as well. So that's something I am going to have to worry about. But, I mean, 94... Whoa, may I got to pay off my loan too, right? Do, do I have a loan? Yes. I need... Oh, Wow. Okay, so of course I took a loan during our live stream and I gotta pay 12 grand back. I could pay that slowly or I could pay that today and get another loan. We'll see how much I'm gonna have to spend to actually get this drill to my mine site. Okay, here is the, the toy store for men. We got the drill right here. This is what we're gonna buy. It's 93? Why in my mind did I think it was 80? Oh god, well we're definitely gonna have to get a loan then because I need to also... Uh, buy the upgrade. Where do I buy that upgrade? Is it right over? It's not in the paint shop, that's for sure. Yes, so I have, as you can see, one out of one on my claim with the small excavator. If I upgrade it, Jesus. So that's going to be another 20,000. So we're going to need about a hundred in like 20,000, give or take. It's good to have a little bit in the bank just in case. So yeah, what I'm going to have to do is pay off my 12 grand loan Get another loan, so we have enough money to do this. That or I could go back gold mining and wait a little bit, but uh, I want to get this drill, man. I want to find where the gold is so we're not wasting our time. Oh, thank God for this bank, though, man. I'm constantly taking loans, and they seem to trust me, so that's good. We're going to pay off this loan, which I spent way too much money on. Uh, but there we go, and how much of a loan can we get? So we they trust me now. I can get a 63 grand loan. I'm not going to go that crazy. Let's go... We're going to have to go pretty crazy, though, just to play it safe. So I'm thinking like 45 grand should be perfect. I want a little bit more installments than three. Problem is the interest is so crazy in this game. The more you go up, total due would be 77 grand for a 45 grand loan as compared to 65. I think six installments should play it safe. We have to get money today though, because we got to pay this daily. So this is risky. I hate taking loans in this game, but we constantly need upgrades as well. Hopefully this drill's worth it. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna need to earn a lot of money to get that yield. We could always rent the drill, too, but I like buying things in this game. It's very rewarding when you actually own it. You don't have to worry about rent. I hate paying rent. I hate paying interest. All those things are very, very annoying, so if we can own it, we, we, we may as well try and do so. 93 grand, our biggest purchase yet. We are going to order that, and we are going to transport that over. Oh, yeah, we have to upgrade this as well. Confirm that upgrade, and... Bring that over there. They, oh, there's even a transport cost. I mean, they take money from everywhere, which is why I, get, I grabbed a bit more money than what we actually needed. All right, so we got 12 grand in the bank. Hopefully, we don't go into the red today like last time, because that took a long time to get out of, by the way. There's a lot of off time in, in this series where I'm just, you know, doing it off recording, because I don't think you guys want to watch a million hours of me digging. But yes, if you do like that, we've actually been doing it on stream a lot, twitch.tv slash Dragas. Uh, generally every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a little bit of gold mining. Uh, so if you guys want to see me just straight digging, because I edit out a lot of that, there's always that. Alright, but this is exciting, and my first playthrough, the drill didn't come out till the end of my playthrough, so for these early mines, I wasn't able to see what was in the ground. Now we're gonna get much more information, and we can use that information to strategically place our mine site and get the best gold possible. So obviously we're gonna do that first, it's gonna take a while to actually drill out all this ground, and there she is, and then once we find the good zone, hopefully we can get a little bit more gold out of the ground than normal. Now hopefully there's some gas in this thing, last time they gassed it up like halfway, it's probably about the same on this one, oh my god, this is a giant bulldozer, this thing is so cool. Controls, and it does have a little bit of fuel in it, so hopefully we don't need any more. I should mention though, we did actually buy the fuel canister, so I can always fill it if I do need to, no big deal. But look at this thing, man. Oh, dude, it's just, it's just it's basically a bulldozer. I don't know why we can't convert this into a bulldozer, because there's, there's literally the piston on the front. Uh, so this should, I mean, that should be an, an option in this game, having multiple attachments. Kind of like Farming Simulator. That would be really, really cool. So yeah, we have this grid pattern here, and if we do one drill on the grid, it's going to show the yield on every one of those squares. So I'm going to try and do the majority of them. We'll spread it out a bit. 
and we should be able to find where it is. But yeah, we're going to put the e-brake on. We gotta lower that drill. And I think it just does it automatically, yeah? Okay, yeah, we're gonna drill in, and then on the map, it's gonna show us the yields. Drill only in mineable terrain. Okay, so yeah, we're so close to the edge, we probably hit bedrock there. Do I'm, I wonder if we could break this. That's a little bit worry or worrisome. So yeah, we might not be able to do the edge ones, but that's generally where, where the gold is in anyways. We gotta go to the middle of this and dig deep. Uh, let's actually check just real quick. We haven't done any or too much yet, but you can kind of see how this is going to work. So uh, these are the ones that I've done so far. Obviously, the more yellow it is, the more gold there is. Doesn't it say the depth as well? Oh yeah, if we actually click them, there's actually a lot of detail in this. It will show you kind of where you want to go. So this is pretty much a same yield all the way down or any of these different. I mean, obviously a little bit deeper in this one slightly. When we find the really good zones, we should actually find like a, a vein of gold where we're going to have to get to that meterage and do exactly where it says. Uh, these ones are obviously, there's not much gold in the ground right here. There's no veins of gold at least because uh, you should actually see a big jump somewhere if there is. But yeah. Really cool mechanic. I absolutely love this thing, and we're going to try and get the major well, not the majority of this. That would take forever to do every single zone, but we'll spread it out and see kind of where the gold is expected to be. All right, so I did a quick circle of our mine site. I probably did like 20 to 30 holes, nothing too crazy, but this should give us a good indicator on where the gold is going to be. So when we look at the map now, we're just going to finish up this hole real quick. It uh, hopefully will have a zone where there's a lot of gold, or at least more gold than the generic amount in this ground. I mean, this is the first mine site. There's probably not very good gold in here anyways, but uh, it's always good to know. So as you can see, uh, it kind of, I mean, obviously it's pretty easy to understand where they are in these dips all around the map. Uh, there's some pretty good zones. It's actually quite spread out. This is probably looking like the best. Uh, 24 Gs. 21, yeah, actually, surprisingly, up on this hill, way in the distance. Now, that's going to be a problem for us as well, because we need to pump water over there, and pressure is a thing in this game. The further our hoses go, the harder it's going to be. So I'm actually thinking this zone down here, I want to get more information on this dip, this valley, if you will, because it's looking very comparable to this zone over here. This is way at the bottom, as you can see, whereas over here all the way through the ground, we're going to get good, good yields, which is what we want to see. Um, don't get me wrong, this one's slightly better if we go 9.7 meters down, but at the start, it's going to be absolutely awful, as you can see. So there's probably a vein down over there, which is really cool to see, but the good stuff, and also there's this little hill here too, this is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the good stuff is in this gully, so I'm going to go do a few more of these drills over here and see exactly where it is, and then we can pinpoint exactly where we want to mine. All right, so there we go. I did pretty much this whole valley here, so we should be able to pinpoint exactly where the most gold is. Mind you, wherever we dig over here, it's going to be good gold as compared to the rest of this area. But yeah, as you can see, very, very similar all the way through. So uh, you can't really even complain with any of these, actually. Generally, there's one that's slightly better. You can see this one's slightly worse because we have zones that are really good. Uh, but these ones, like this, I'm thinking like this square right here should be our best bet. It has good gold all the way through. We could even go all the way up here even uh, if we really wanted to. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle squares. And I'm thinking, is this how we do it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now it should, when we get out of this, do we see it? Did I do it right? No, I didn't do it right. Great. <laughs> oh, it looks like we could only have one square at a time, uh, which is why I was very confused there. Let me actually just make sure. If we go to the gold again. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going away. So, unfortunately, we can only have one square. That's all right. I mean, we know exactly where it is anyways. It's right here, uh, and it's in between this area right here. So, obviously, this is the good stuff, uh, which is kind of what I assumed. It was the deepest part of our plot, and it's just it feels like it's going to be good. So, uh, yeah, this thing's almost out of gas. We're going to get it out of here now. 80 grand well spent, hopefully. We're getting about double the yield, though, as compared to my old ground. So... Definitely worth it to do the drilling early on, and uh, it's just going to make actually extracting the gold so much quicker. Now, the problem is there's no water over here, so I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the pressure. When I was, tr I actually tried to get down here during the live stream to actually dig down there because I assumed that's where the good stuff would be, uh, and I didn't have enough 
pressure in my hose. So I gotta actually maybe buy a bigger pump. I don't know if there's a bigger pump at Haynes, but we're gonna try that first. Maybe we can daisy chain pumps together too to get double the output. I don't know. If that doesn't work, I don't know how we're gonna get water that far down there, and I do not want to travel with the excavator. The great thing about this mobile wash plant is I do not have to travel with the excavator. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really hoping there's a better pump at Haynes. If not, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get water all the way down there. I think we're gonna, yeah, the, the only one we have is, oh, God. If we really want to push some water, we need this thing now, which is brand new in the game, by the way. What is this? Oh, that's the, oh, well, that's an option. We could use the water tank and maybe bring water. I don't know how long this water tank would last. I hate the fact that so much of my system I have to, like, refill uh, when it comes to, like, gas and water. So I really don't want to use the water tank unless I absolutely have to. The thing is, we have enough money for this thing. So that's kind of tempting. Is there not a medium? Like, it, it either goes to crazy levels or, like, the smallest J generator you can get. There's no in-between in this game, unfortunately, which really does kind of suck. Jeez, this place just keeps going and going. I didn't realize it goes all the way over here. Glacier Creek engines. Oh, man, those are expensive. I'm getting a little worried. There's, there's a lot of parts in this game now, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to try and stretch this as far as we can and see how far we get. Uh, again, I'm hoping with one pump we can do this. I think if we maybe take a shortcut, we might have a small enough hose where we don't need two pumps. And again, I don't know if we can daisy chain pumps together. I really hope that's the case, because, uh, that damn water thing is going to take all my money. But there we go. Look at that. I, I love these hoses, by the way. 36 out of 30 meters. We're just going to bring this over here and take a shortcut. So yeah, the max distance it can go with one pump is 100 meters of hose. I'm pretty much guaranteed that this is over 100 meters. We need to attach something to it, though. Yes, there we go. So if I attach it to this, we should at least see if we can bring it all the way over here. If we can make it to here, we're good to go. I'm thinking this is almost guaranteed over 100 meters. I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to get there within 100 meters. So yeah, I think buying that water tank will be what we have to do. I'm just curious how quickly that water tank empties, because we're going to go drive all the way back to Haynes to do that. So let's actually see. Uh, why doesn't it tell me? I mean, at least it's working. Maybe because uh, I haven't turned it on. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Maybe I have to bring the power over to it, too. Plug this into that. Plug this into this. And once we turn this on, generator's already on, so it should maybe work. God, please work. That would be amazing. Holy crap! Okay, let me just make sure. Wow, this is, there's no way this is less than 100 meters. This is so far away. It's going to say now that it's on. Oh, actually, look at that! We're at 88 meters, so we are ready to mine. We do not have to worry about water just yet. If we were to go 10 meters further, issues would arise, but uh, I can't believe that. I thought this hose would be way longer than this. Thank God, now we just have to move this over here, and we can start earning money. Let's shut off everything, though, so we're not wasting gas, and we are ready to rock and roll, man. All right, so we attach this to that. That's much easier than trying to attach that where it currently was, so... Just gotta save as much time as we can. Bring this over there. All right, we're just gonna jackknife it a bit, no big deal. And then fill up the excavator and we're ready to go. Now I know I usually don't do it at night because it's extremely hard to see right now, but we have such a big loan right now, it's gonna take about 10 grand away if I was to sleep until the morning time. So I'm gonna work through the night just because I wanna take this seriously and I wanna actually earn as much money as possible. So bring this down here. Again, I don't know how far away we're gonna need to be, but it's going to be way lopsided, too. This is going to be a really hard area to mine, actually. But we don't really got a choice. So water input and electric. And that's it, man. All right, but there we go. It is officially connected and ready to go. Let's just get my truck out of here, hopefully, if it's not stuck. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to get it out of here. Worst case, we can reset this as well. Yeah, we're actually... St oh, God, don't hit it too much. I don't want to get it too close to the uh, mine site because the excavator has a pretty big reach. There we go. This old truck is MVP, man. All right, only other thing we have to do is fill up the excavator. So I brought over my mobile gas tank. Uh, like I said, I bought this on the stream because we needed it, because this thing was already empty. Uh, something that we're obviously going to need throughout this whole playthrough, because gas is a thing. All right, we have, uh, what do we have, 60% still in there? Well, yeah, we had 60%. 
that should fill it all the way up. And our bulldozer needs gas as well, so we should probably need to refuel this as well. All right, I think we're officially ready to go. The beast is over here, as you can see. It's really dark out. Sorry about that, guys. But, uh, oh, we actually have 33% in this. Wait, what? Oh, we have 33% in the bucket up top. I was like, there's no bucket even in here. What are you talking about? Uh, so it's a good thing we remember to get the bucket. This has magnetite in it, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to keep that. We need to collect our magnetite. So we're going to put that back in the dirt spot of this. And really? I don't have any buckets. i got to walk all the way back here for a damn bucket. That's all right. We have to start the generator anyway. So uh, just an extra little bit to our walk over here. All right. And here's my handy dandy bucket. So throw that in there. It is rocking and rolling, which is good. I can't believe we didn't have water issues. I shouldn't have kept this on. That wasted a lot of gas, but that's all right. Let's get in here and start earning some money. Oh, just turned it off. No, let's keep it on. That's important. And the first dig. Now, the great part about this ground is it's golden all the way through. So even at the top, we're going to earn lots of money in gold. This is not very easy ground to deal with. All right, we'll try it here. See how that is. And let's actually go to, out to this camera. There we go. We'll extend out a bit. That should be good, I think. That should be a good zone to do. And bam, 22% in the hopper. Well, I, I know all the gold around here. It's not just this one zone is good. So I guess we're just going to have to go to the other square a little bit further away because this is a good setup here. And I should be able to move dirt really, really quickly with how I'm currently set. So yeah, like all three, or sorry, all four of these zones right over here were all good. So we're just going to go nice and close to the... Uh, mobile wash plant the less distance we have the faster we can put it through this so we know this is all good right here and i'm just going to keep digging right where i am and would you look at that we have six percent in the bucket already and that was what three three digs so far nothing at all uh as compared to before i get like one percent a bucket eight percent there so we're getting about a two percent yield a bucket it looks like uh, so this is good. This is why this is great. It's going to be so much faster to get the gold out of the ground and get money in the bank. The better the dirt you're putting through your system, the quicker you're going to earn money. So it's not so much about... I, so many people seem to focus on trying to get the best processing equipment. If you're finding the right dirt, you can go nice and slow and still earn lots of money. Which is kind of what we're doing with this playthrough now, with keeping with the mobile wash plan. I might keep with it for a while. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Because the great thing about the mobile wash plan is I can bring it wherever I want. I don't need to buy the conveyor belts, which are extremely expensive. And we're still not maximizing how much we can put through this. I mean, by the time I get the bucket over here, it's only at about 8%. There we go. We're back to 21%. When I'm done with this bucket, it should be almost done with that dirt that it's currently in it. And it's back down, like I said, to 8%. So we're actually using, I feel like, the right wash plan for how much dirt we're getting. Once we get the bigger excavator, obviously, that will change. But for right now, this is, this is actually working perfectly. Holy crap. I just found a nugget of 192 grams. So I have nugget find on because I need all the money I can get. I've never, I, I've hardly had nuggets over 100 grams. That kind of shows you how good this ground is. From the little that I've uh, tested with this game, the better the ground, the bigger the, the random nuggets you find as well. So that's a, that's a giant nugget. Right, right there alone is like, what, 10 grand? I'll take it, man. This is great. All right, and just like that, it just turned uh, to the next day, actually. And god damn it, there's my loan. Oh, I love it. 12 grand down the drain. I've earned 253 grams of gold so far because of that random nugget. Uh, and we processed 238 meters of pay dirt so far, so uh, pretty efficient. We are at 98%, I believe, so we're pretty much done here. We're going to do our first clean out here, and I need money because I'm in the negative once again. We should earn a lot of money today, though, so that's all good. All right, that's going to go to 100%. Now for the fun part. Now the question is, is it going to be more gold? I earn gold faster with uh, going to this good ground, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be more gold in the bucket. It just means I can pull it out of the ground much quicker. I mean, it looks like we dug a lot. Let me actually turn on the light so you guys can see. Uh, but it's actually not as much compared to what we did before. So the big question is, is there going to be a lot of gold in this wonderful bucket here? Uh, we're going to find out real quick here. So we're going to... Um, I guess we can just keep our systems on, actually. We'll just shut this off for right now. All right, that is powered on. That's good. I guess we could technically... I guess we don't even need to turn it off. All right, so all good. Now we just need to transfer over 
the other hose. So there we go. And bam, we have water going through the system as well. And now we just need our magnetite bucket. And technically we need another, actually we need another bucket as well. It's a good thing I didn't do that because do we have a gold bucket in there? No, there isn't any gold bucket in it yet. So we gotta go walk all the way down there and get that, that damn thing. Should probably buy a couple more buckets. I, uh, I seem to have to run around a lot for them. Okay, so we got everything. Uh, I'm gonna try and fill this up with the hose just to see if that, that should work. I hope anyways. Uh, is it filling it? Why is it not filling it? Do I have to turn it on or something? Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> 101 out of 100 meters. Well, there's my problem, damn it. That extra one meter. So it's because I've been running around like an idiot with this hose. So if we just wrap this up a little bit, and there we go. We have to think about pressure issues. Now it should <laughs> go turn on. Oh, I should have just tried that to begin with. I didn't think I'd add an extra 20 meters to my hose though. So there we go. We got that set up so we can do everything here. Let's get her done. Okay, so throw this down here. I'm excited, man. I hope there's lots of gold in this ground. We'll find out. This is obviously the best ground we can get though. So, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. Wait for this to go through the magnetite separator, then we'll shut off our system so we're not wasting our precious gas. Should be about, actually 100%, so we got hardly any magnetite out of that. We'll stop that and turn all this stuff off now. By the way, no idea why that annoying refueling things down at the bottom. I'm sure you guys have commented on it already because I haven't mentioned it, but yeah. Uh, it's just stayed there, so it's it's just gonna stay there. It's just, it's just part of the game now. Uh, but yeah, let's get this done. So, gold. And where, where's my pan? Oh yeah, I left it in the back of the truck. By the way, I'm leaving the truck on so we can actually see, because it is the middle of the night right now. Okay, but here is the moment of truth. Please be really good. Oh man, I'm hoping we see lots and lots of gold. All right, we got good lighting. This is great, don't lose it. That's the important stuff right there. Turn that yellow. Oh yeah, even the water's golden. That was the first wash, and look at that. Usually I get like three nuggets, so I think it's safe to say the yield is much better as well. That or that was a really lucky first wash there. It's hard to tell yet. Now we have how much gold? We have 116 grams of gold. Wait, oh yeah, because he takes his part. So he, it is uh, in the middle of the morning. We did have 200 and something, but uh, the owner of this plot of land is really greedy. I'm actually not seeing a lot of gold here. I don't think it's gonna be much more. It just comes out of the ground way quicker. It actually looks less. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but let's find out. So we started with a 116, and these, these better be giants, maybe. Oh, wow. Okay, they are giants. It just looks deceptively small. So we started with 116. Let's see what the full washout gives us. We're doing lots of tweezering. That's a good sign. Let's try these small guys. Okay, so that's not, not tweezer size, unfortunately. I don't think it's going to be much more, though. I think it's just the, the output of the dirt itself is much better over here. Not necessarily the wash is going to be better. It's just you're going to get your gold much quicker. Okay, the final bucket is right here. We're already at 325, so yeah, definitely the yield is slightly better. Uh, from what I remember before, we get between like 30 to 50 grams of gold. We've done three and we're already over 200 yields. So yeah, definitely a little bit better over here. A little faster as well, so we are earning much more gold per hour, which is really, really nice. This first wash makes me really excited for the future. Uh, cause the more money we can earn, the quicker we can get to these precious upgrades that we need. This is another really good pan, so we'll see at the end what we actually earned here. All right, and there we go. The final pan's done. We ended off with 395 grams worth of gold, making it 279 grams uh, for the first official washout, including the, excluding rather, the giant gold nugget. So that equals about 70 grams a pan, definitely much more than what we were getting before. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is definitely worth it. I'm excited. Now we can dig here and get crazy amounts of money, and uh, yeah, I'm really glad we actually bought the drill, because uh, it would have took two times the amount of dirt to do what we're doing over here, over there. It just would have been a waste of time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out the drill upgrade and finding the best gold output in our current plot of land. Uh, and the next one, let me know what you guys want to see. Do we want to buy the next tier of mining equipment so we can pull through more dirt? Or do we want to go maybe to a new plot of land? 
There's also many other upgrades we can buy. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking maybe we should go to the next plot of land, because uh, I don't mind the mobile wash plant at all. Don't get me wrong, the other wash plants are much cooler, uh, but it is a big investment to do that, and I think a plot of land might be a little bit smarter, at least for right now. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here. Now, I will probably be streaming some more Gold Rush on my live streams. If you do like to see just the process unedited, uh, if you just want to see me dig, basically, because I don't buy any of the upgrades or anything, I just do some digging, because uh, we need lots of money in between these episodes. That will be on Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash Dragast. I hope to see some of you guys there. If you're not there, I hope to see you in the next episode of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.